We are certainly uh, just back to try. We're ready to hard engage with follow-up damage out the wazoo in the Ezreal. And so why, my issue here with this DRX draft is that it will not have any prio. Um, Kasante can have some top prio, but that's not relevant at all. Uh, it's the Ezreal Yumi that you're going to have to try to trade early on. And with Canyon on Wukong here, Now, the Scion actually is lumbering. Yes. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Perfect. Uh, I hope that's because they were listening, as we are just going to get some... Oh! oh! Rascal! Call Casper! You know what? Yeah, it's... it's uh, I'm going to call for a pause. Raps! It's certainly um, doing some fighting there towards that bottom side. It's been also... It's Hojin again versus yeah. Tom again? What? It's, what what Wait, is, is this happening? The right graphic or do they at this point. Here comes that gank. Yeah. That is the incinerate. It is going to be enough as the flash comes out. Yeah, going to be uh, able to get out of there. And in comes Barrel. Canyon in trouble as Showmaker throws another Q. The that opportunity is. to get that, Jack. So this is what I was talking about in Nullis. Early game, look for those ganks pre-6 with Ukon can't fight you as well. Get that Jax ahead. Well, Hook is going to connect there as he does get himself a bit of a shield, but still kind of taking so much damage. Doesn't have his flash available. And that is going to mean he dies. He's given over bad fights to D+, a so team that's very snowball-y. So really well coordinated here. Unfortunately, Kana tries to turn around. He, he's like, okay, this is just doom. Don't have flash. Nothing you can do. Counter strikes well timed here. Pretty basic. Got him. Got him. Nice. Uh, nice. Nice good. indeed. Canyon is not that strong at this point in time to try to defend this. Well, Hook is going to connect there. Decent amount of tankiness on Kana, but still taking a lot of damage. Shelly goes down as in they go. They look to knock him out, and they are going to be able to do so. Rascal. See if he wants to use it here to commit for the contest. Yeah, priority in the hands of Rascal, though. He can roam down that river a little bit earlier. Kana can obviously get there if Rascal commits too quickly. And the Lumberjack going to get into position. Teleport through from Showmaker. Barrel off to the side. Looking for that flank angle as in goes Canyon. Will find the Cyclone as there's the final chapter. Barrel gets into the back line as Depth is knocked up into the air. No one to die just yet, but oh, it's a big engage from Yahoo. Gets himself out of there as well as Paddock. Can he find the angle? Rascal finds one, but he is going to be taken down. And Ezreal starting to pop up in the fight, but it's Cesare that takes him out. Paddock trying to get the work done as Canyon is still alive. Canna gets taken down, though, and now the zombie form is looking for the jet set radio Zeri. She will be able to get herself out of there as now Canyon. Oh, no prowling projectile to be found. And Intentionally, obviously, he doesn't want to give away the fact that he has all of this extra damage. Right, guys? <laughs> uh, right. Um, as the Drake has now been started, Control Ward over the side, spotting to see whether anyone's taken any cheeky portals to get in here. Hook going to go wide this time as Showmaker puts down the bear. Paddock has altered, though, as he skates into the back line, manages to pick up the Annie, but oh my god, the rest of DRX are just obliterated. Depth will go down once again, and it is chaos here in the Counter Strike. Counter Strike is fantastic, but Canyon is going to stay alive. That pesky cat. Once again, Wolf! Yeah. The, the, the Yumi is going to help him out here, but I also do want to give credit to how DRX set up this fight as well, as once again, Paduk has so much frontline here, knows his positioning on the right side here, avoids that Wukong ultimate, then is doing damage over the wall, but his frontline is just non-existent, unfortunately, and as a result here, Rascal is the last man standing, trying to get work done here. And yeah, they're able to take out the Ezreal again, but this time it's not the free firing Zeri that has uh, a front nice, uh... line and isn't able to do that same damage because the fight is so much shorter. Huge win. Of this area, Control Ward does come in. And if Rascal went bot and tried to threaten that turret, maybe they can pull him apart, but he just wants this engage. He's got Flash, and yeah. they're moving forward. They're gonna get the Rascal? Rascal? The Croco. There's the uh, True Shot Barrage. Does a fair bit of work. The hook is Flash, but it's Kana that picks it up. He's happy to tank as much as they would like, but still not able to offer too much damage back. He does have to Flash out of there. Quite time to and rush down this Baron. Showmaker's not doing it, but he does have a Leandris. Now he's coming over, so they can rush this so quickly here. And it's it's gonna have to be a Jax teleport. There's no flank teleport. He has to just go in the middle of the fight. Yeah, prowling projectile does come on forward here. Yahoo off on the side. Deft just standing his ground, but maybe he doesn't want to. As there is the skate forward. The Baron is now given up on. Is it's a fight on multiple fronts. Showmaker takes down the Nautilus already. And Yahoo is able to pick up the Annie, but he flashes forward, finds a couple with that Q. Canyon goes golden though, and now Deft gets himself into the fight. He has his best friend there as well. 
as he's diving forward. Paddock, can he actually get some work done here is the question, and I just don't think he's going to be able to do so. As Paddock gets more items in this game. Well, they're going to skate on in and look to try and grab Baron. Uh, it's going to go down extraordinarily quickly. There are three items on this area as Yahoo comes on over. This Baron down to below 50%. And Def gets a ward in. They're going to get the information, but they're going to be able to do nothing to stop it. And Croco locks down the purple worm. And there it is, Dira. I mean, finally finding something. To do. And sort of mind game these flanks that he's trying to find right now, as we can see. Speaking of, yeah. Yeah, Showmaker possibly closed in on us. There is the quickness. Beryl, unfortunately, though, going to go down to the very beginning of the fight. And Canyon, he's already out of there. Tibbs is the only one in any real danger. And we do and, have a uh, reset coming through for D, so it won't ultimately matter that much here. But this was a bit opportunistic, considering the follow up is so far away. Look at Potter and Croco. Croco also flashes in and catches Canyon's clone. You know, this is really just. Not ideal. He still has Hex Flash, of course. Could actually win this fight by getting a single kill. Yep, they do spot Rascal on that flank. Showmaker. Barrage, not doing all that much right now as in goes Kana. Will get interrupted as Deft is now in the pit. Yehu taking a lot of damage as Rascal. He wants to find that perfect moment. Mystic shots, though, are starting to land. Rascal has to go in at some point. Well, can he actually find the angle is the question because Kana is just a brick wall standing in front of him. And D plus there, once again, they're the ones that are firing shots and DRX are just waiting. They're biding their time, but you cannot wait forever. This dragon is going to fall. The hook is going to land onto Kana, but he just walks his way out. Prowling projectile, not doing too much as Deft, just taking pot shots one after the other. As Here now, we go. Carol is going to dive forward. The interruption though, onto Rascal as Deu gets himself in there as well. Deft untouched for now as Beryl is going to go down. Has he done enough is the question though as Yahoo gets stepped out of that pin and now no one's in there. 4D plus here they die stolen. The Elder that's taken by the Zeri of all people and now it's Paddock that says goodnight. Looks like a game three to me Atlas. I cannot believe DRX are going to win this one. They were behind four Drakes this entire time. Zeri with no Yumi, and it's against Hextech Soul. All the lockdown, and it looked like it was a shoe in in that fight. And he steals the Elder, and DRX are going to steal the game. What a game two we are watching right now after what was a total shellacking. Not, hardly you could even call game one a game, and they are bouncing back here in a huge way. Yep, four, two, and four on Rascal as well. This guy's jacks, absolutely amazing. That's where it started, and that's where it ends as he throws his lamppost into the Nexus. The booking talent is so Oh, I'm not done, it's all. I'm not done, it's all.